Um, actually, there are many. And on top of which are the silos being built, is the lack of dialogue and the misunderstandings which is going here and there all across the map. This is a key that reflects on the conflicts which we are seeing increasing in different parts of the world. This is reflecting on our failure actually to manage and to comply and to face the massive challenge of climate change together because what should be done is not done. Whether was it the bridges that the countries are not paying or whether it the time plan for the developing countries in the global south to comply because they don't have this amount of enough resources. It reflects also and actually the increasing number of inequalities we have seen, we have been seeing year after year how much the richer gets richer and the poorer gets poorer. Despite that, we aligned on some goals. Was it the sustainable development goals, the 2030 agenda? But obviously the system where the world is actually working on now, it needs to be rethinked, it needs to be changed. including the voices of the others. All the time, what I'm seeing now is a kind of articulating the global scene around the US-China relations, the tensions that is in the sphere, the war zones, but actually there are lots, millions, even actually billions, I can say, who are out of the picture of decision-making, despite Every decision counts for them and every decision directly affects their lives. Also, in my country, you have been recently putting youth inside the process of uh, policy uh, making and inside the process of a change at the heart of it. And I wish that I would see this all over the world because they are actually going to face all the consequences of what we are living now and they are should be part of shaping the future as well. So youth participation, was it in politics or on any other table for decision making, should be much more than what it is now. And definitely topics like climate change should be taken to another level of raising the awareness, of creating the demand, of engaging the people, how this affects their daily lives other than how it is now as an elitist uh, conversation. Th there are lots of things to be done technology transfer between the global north and the global south, a more just and fair agenda for the social welfare other than the failing capitalistic one, in my opinion at least. I believe that big chunk of the answer is in the pockets of the policymakers, where they the parliamentarians were they the key leading figures in the international organizations and uh, they have really solutions and they have a lot to do which is not being done up till now so i believe that there should be much more diversification and the gender and the voices uh, in the representation of youth through the reflections in the policy making seen as one of the key solutions and also we need to better understand each other Nowadays, everyone is just having or holding his mobile, diving down in his own world. Uh, so the silos are getting like more and more confined without such linkages. We need on the very personal level to regain such kind of dialogue. What is happening in Cypri today is an example of this dialogue. People are coming from all over the world. They are articulating in their places and they have decisions on the table. I discovered through the discussions today that there are knowledge gaps. There are worlds which are not connected and which needs really to be connected.